happened again, kind of. Um, basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, hit the start stream. It didn't start the stream. That's basically all that happened. But, yeah, that's my fault. I just don't pay attention to it and then it just happens. Yes, we need that spirit. I don't have- wait, that was a skill point. I want to buy that. Get the chance for double final smash. But yeah, basically I beat Monkey Kong by reflecting. Bullet bills with Fox's down special. And it just didn't save any of it on the stream, so... That's basically all that happened. Now we have Candy Kong. Ooh, that's not gonna be a fun one. At all. Yeah, I have no spirit to flip still, so... That's the good part. Ready, go! Shoot it. I mean, she didn't shoot it, but... Oh crap, banana guns are just gonna fall into the sky, aren't they? We just have to sit inside of this. As long as the banana comes out in the field. Okay, there we go. I mean, as long as Bayo has the gun. If I get hit by the gun, then I die. Instantly. But so does Bayo. Or not instantly, as you can see there, but you know what I mean. Like, it does a lot of damage. Grab the gun and shoot me. Shoot me with the gun. Bayo, your accuracy is worse than mine. banana gun, it's right there. Okay, I'll grab it. Show you how to shoot the banana gun. See, that's how you shoot the banana gun. Except you gotta hit your opponent. Victory! Or that just works. Well... But that wasn't too bad. If I would've been hit by a single banana from the banana gun, then I would've died. So... At zero, I'm pretty sure it's when that starts to kill. Time for Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong. Wait, don't I already have Donkey Kong? If so, I might use Donkey Kong. I mean, I just don't really feel like using Donkey Kong. I'm just gonna use Fox. Got the reflector for the bananas and the peanut guns, so. though. One of his smash attacks was like 50%, so... That was a buffered air dodge right there. Why don't you grab the ray gun, Diddy? And shoot me with it. There we go. Man, if she landed, although it's probably not going to kill. Okay, that barely did anything. Of course, that does like 30,000%, but my final smash will do 2%. That's fair. I wonder if Snake C4 does less damage because it's 
from Snake, so Snake will do less damage in this fight due to the lack of spirits. Here's something I want to test. Ready? Go! But not right now. Right now we need to focus on unlocking Diddy Kong to get all of those skill point things for the skill tree. Did I even plant that? What I did. Right there again. There. Okay. Still banana peel, but it's fine. Okay, let's go. We got the fire thing. Basically, the fire thing just gives me free final snap meter. Although I am blocking it too. There we go, we gotta confuse him with all the explosions. It confuses me so I can confuse him because he's walking. Should we shoot him the fly? Get the fly, there we go. Go right into my trap. Both my trap. You miss that one. I thought that that would hit on that. If it would have, that would have been an amazing thing. Get a brawl hollow kill? Nope. Okay, nope. My screen point? No, it didn't come out of the way. See, we still got a while before this fight's over. So. Or unless I get final smash pretty soon, which could happen. Or Diddy dies. Either one. I'll take. Just hit me, Diddy. I'm trying to kill him with all the explosions, but it's not seeming to work. He's running. I think that was up tilt and up smash hitting at the same time. How did he get final smash before I did? I'm kind of mad about that one. Because you literally just die if you get hit by Diddy's final smash. Like, there's nothing you can do. It's one of, if not the best final smashes in the game. Like, Peach's is obviously broken. Peach or Daisy. And then you have um, the best looking Final Smashes, which Diddy Kong's not on that list. And then you have like the most useful Final Smash that kills like 30% of the, or like 90% of the time, I mean. I was gonna say, doesn't kill like 30% of the time, but it mostly kills 90% of the time. And that would be where Diddy Kong's Final Smash is. I kind of just need to take more damage when I'm dealing out, but I can't seem to do that because Diddy Kong is not good at the game. Sorry about that, but I should be back now. I did not want to grab that gun. I just wanted to still grab it. I didn't even know grabbing could do that. Like, you could grab a weapon if you just grab a real weapon. Also, this sounds like a really nice version of his role. From Sonic. I think I mentioned that before. Like, this sounds like it should be a Sonic song, more than a Donkey Kong song. Or, I don't know, I mean, Sonic is kind of like the edgy cool kid or whatever, so... Are you joking? There's actually no way that he was, like, the only person in the world that's able to hit through snakes. Kind of mad. Continue. Every time that I down air snake, it always hits me, the little up B thing. But yet Diddy Kong is invincible. Go. Superman himself in eighth form. Diddy Kong here. Able to get more kills than like a person who's professional at Call of Duty. Definitely has a higher hit rate.
I don't even know what the last Call of Duty was. I'm pretty sure it's Black Ops 4. They kind of all blend together to me now. There's not much of a difference between them. I used to like Cod, but then I started playing other games and just found them more interesting, like adventure games and stuff like that. Smash Bros. Ultimate, kind of one that I like to play sometimes. Playing at like 100 hours each month for the past four months. I have like 500 hours in a half. I mean, I'm taking all of this, but I don't want to take it right there, you know? Diddy Kong. You can keep the mine. I could also just paint the final pass as well. That's kind of what I did there. I mean, isn't that all the snake does? Just hit the Diddy Kong with the final smash, snake. It's not that hard. I don't understand why you can't kill this Diddy Kong with your final smash. That has one of the highest kill rates in all final smashes in Ultimate. I don't know why this Diddy Kong is impervious to it, but sure, we'll just go with it. I don't understand anymore. Like, did the peanut make the grenade explode because if so that's like a f explosive peanut like i've never seen a peanut be able to make a grenade explode but i mean i guess it is a giant peanut just have that advantage over most peanuts that i've seen hey do you think this diddy kong can tag do you think he can recover if it's kirby kirby um neutral be off stage I'm trying to use Snake's Final Smashes again, but I could just use Kirby and it'd be a little bit easier to pull off, maybe. I don't know if this Diddy Kong knows how to recover very well. Because I have not said it Diddy Kong's recovery. I mean, this works just as well. This two right here. I should have come off the floor there, instead of trying to do that. Gotta do some trades here. I'm not using the C4 a lot, like that could be my main problem here. Basically, Pretty Kong just kind of takes the hits, I guess, this time. Finally. It took like 10 minutes. Which honestly isn't that bad, but it's not a like 3 star spirit, it's just a character. The bad part is the character's not even that great. Pretty much all the characters I've unlocked so far aren't that great. Like I do have like Pikachu and Pichu and a lot of top tier characters, but I keep getting all like the lower parts of mid tier. Don't really have a lot of high tier characters or characters that I was considered to be high tier. Like see, this is my character list here. The characters that I use the most are Snake and Kirby though, for sure. And some Simon. I used to use Marth a lot, but don't really need to depend on Marth that much anymore. Now let's go outside of here and continue to explore the world. I'm probably going to be streaming World of Light for like an hour or something like that. Just a pretty long amount of time. Um, this is not going to be fun. That's all I'm going to say is that this is going to be the most fun fight. Ready, go! Oh wait, it's tiny. It's tiny Jigglypuff. But they all have like the hats. 
the bunny hats. Pretty sure that should be tough trying to land a rest. If it gets near me, then I up tilt. Pretty sure whatever that me is trying to do it will kill me. Or it'll just SP, so it'll be a very easy fight. As soon as I saw it do that, I was like, did it enter a special fall or free fall? But then it did, so I got an easy one. Also, I used all my candies today on spirits, because I've been trying to level all of them up to level 99. And I leveled up like 10 spirits, so it wasn't that bad. Time battle and the enemy tends to be conflict. It's gonna be one of the use. What game are these games? Oh, I didn't pay attention. All I know is that I'm landing the forward air spike, which I usually can't land, so... I know what I can do. Nikita. Nikita victory. So you don't ever pocket it. Well, just had to say it. I knew that she was about to unpocket it, so I decided to use big brain play and make it where it's like the shielded one so it falls so that way the hitbox resets. So basically you can hit a Nikita missile once and it will no longer be active, but if you hit the shield button a snake it'll reactivate the hitbox. So that's basically what I did, but I just reactivated the hitbox. So where am I? Guess I'm going up this mountain here. Gotta fight Big King DDDS Pake Derm. Or Pake Derm. Oh man, it's um, hello there, Executor. This is gonna be a fun fight, isn't it? I get hit through the side. Or I can, I can get over this, right? Right, Snake, you can get over this. There you go, friend. That just makes my edge guarding ability so much better. At being worse. Oh, hello there, Cloud. Thanks, Cloud, for always being a great assist trophy. So glad that you're not a character from Smash 4. Ready? That completely dominated the Smash 4 competitiveness scene thing. So, yeah, that's cool, Cloud. I know the Cloud has a name, but I just refer to it as Cloud, as in Cloud Strife. But. I don't actually know the name, I'm pretty sure it's like Larry. So like if I didn't bring that up then somebody would say something. But hey, I'll take that. Viruses from Dr. Mario. Why are they all in HD? Was there an HD Dr. Mario game? There might have been one for the Wii. I don't know if I would buy a Dr. Mario game. I think I'm good with just like the NES Classic and you know, Switch Online. I'm pretty sure I have good Dr. Mario-ness on my own, so maybe I need to get Dr. Mario in for the spirit fight. Need to page the dot. Okay, they just pushed me off the side because I totally outweigh you. Okay, man, this is not good at all. Wait, she ate me so she got health back? Or maybe. That's crazy, so crazy to know. According to Kirby, right back at you, Kirby is a man. Come 
pretty sure Kirby just ate like a grenade that I have my hand or something like that. And then I'm gonna have that Kirby ate. Wait, I think this is a good spot. I think I actually hit all of them. But I got one kill. Dang. Time. Really sucks. Because all they do is just up B. They know how to play Kirby. Ready? Go! See, that's what I mean. They don't have up B as in they favor up B. They're just literally up being because that's what Kirby's do. And the thing is, it's a Kirby team. So it, they take... Or they don't take higher damage, but they have higher knockbacks because it's, it's a team, so that's just how team works. Or I guess that's how they work in 64 as well. So that's how they've always worked. I guess what they say. Oh man, I got confused on where I was. I thought I was a blue Kirby for no reason at all. I don't even play blue Kirby when I play Kirby. I just play pink Kirby. Why is this Kirby playing like a Smash 4? You were much worse in Smash 4 than you were in this game, Kirby. Don't go back. Go back to 64. We're gonna go anywhere. That's whenever Kirby was S tier. Or I think Kirby was actually SS tier. With Pikachu, they were both kind of the same. Kirby had really good on stage, and Pikachu had really good off stage. Camilla, the stage covered in a poisonous cloud, and the X bomb is a common projectile. What it doesn't tell you is that Charizard is also there. So, you've gotta watch out for those types of things. On your own. Simon. Guess who outranges both Corrin and Charizard? It is Mr. Simon Belmont himself. He outranges everyone and everything. Ready? Go! Okay, I don't know why. Okay, just flare blitz, that's cool. That's very cool, Simon. Continue. Just get right there, wherever it was just like one inch off. That's very cool. I can't believe Charizard Flare Blitz at the start of the match. Like, that's just unheard of. Ready? Nobody ever does that. Go! X-Bombs. X-Bombs always terrifying, especially when they go out of frame and I can't see them. But I still jump over them. So I can reach the future. Or pick the future. Maybe this is the strat. You just throw this through the ground. Oh crap. I don't really have a lot of... Okay, sure, Simon. Just don't grab the ledge when you're right next to it. Especially after I up B, which you say is a side B. That's very cool. Ready? Very cool. Go! Okay, Noah just block every single one of my hits because I'm not trying to hurt you. As our back air is very fun to be hit by. Ooh, that duck. What? There were two? There were two? And I was in range of both of them? What do you mean? 
I wasn't even in range of the first one. But sure, we'll just go with your strategy. The obviously much superior one, I guess. No, Flare Blitz doesn't need to attack either. Go back to Smash 4, where you belong. I mean, you're already in bottom tier here, so it's not that different. Watch this tech. Boom. I can just camp underneath the stage. This is the... This is the strat. The secret tech. You don't want to meet me down here, fellas. You just die. Trust me. Of course, the X bomb doesn't go off, so that way he actually can meet me down here. Oh man, Simon somehow barely survived that. I honestly have no idea. Bomb, bomb. Simon, 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 Simon. I jumped in. I jumped away from the blast zone, but it just gonna say that I jumped inside of the blast zone because I am a genius and I like to jump inside of the blast zone. It's just a thing that kills me. Why wouldn't I want to jump into it? I mean, I don't know. Ready? Go! Attack me now, Ford. Dang it, Charizard, I wasn't talking to you. Go back to Smash 4. Oh, I can hit them through the stage? What do you mean I can't hit them through the stage? I see the thing going through the stage. Don't lie to me, game. Okay, Thorn. That broke my shield in one shot. But I can still tech. Time of genius. I wish this was one of the ones where I just defeat the main fighter and then I get to focus on the But no dash attack is gonna kill. Because why wouldn't dash attack go straight through my side special? It just makes sense. It just makes sense. It's common sense. Ready? Go! Dang, I was just trying. Okay, Corrin, sure. Oh, I thought that left Corrin in special fall. I was about to say, I'm actually a genius for baiting my outfit. Because Corrin certainly grabbed that before I spam day. Eh? Okay, sure. That totally hit me. I was at the perfect spot to avoid that, but it hit me, sure. I literally just got bodied so badly that I couldn't even touch the ground for more than two seconds. It's fun playing World of Light spiritless so that way you're at a constant disadvantage to all of your opponents when you could just have a poison heal spirit so that way every single second you're getting fooled by everything around you but definitely much more challenging oh man i jumped like 30 seconds before that happened but sure i'll just buffer a roll Here's the tech that, if Charizard would play very nice, I could show you the tech, but... Oh no, Korn didn't play nice. Crap Charizard. That's my bomb. Okay, I tech the hit, so that way I get hit by Flare Blitz. Like, I don't understand. I tech everything. Like, I literally just tech all of the stuff. I could hear my controller breaking 
from my fingers stacking it, but sure. That's the sound of the trigger buttons that I used to shield and also tech. Ready? That's what I was doing the entire time. Do you know what happened? I died. That's the tech to all of the world of white. It's just death. Down smash into X bomb. Definitely a tech. As well. Of course Simon can't make it back. But of course Got to get hit with an X bomb, so now I'm at 150%. Make that 177%. I'm just trying to touch the ground, Miss Camilla. So if you would please allow me to just touch the ground for half a second, I'd be very grateful. I just want to be you know, lonesome by myself. Charizard, get out of here and go back to Smash Four. I don't want to do this, Charizard. But it's not about what I want, it's about what the game wants me to do. I can't even get Final Smash. Like, I'm getting hit at 200% not getting Final Smash. That actually makes no sense. Is my Final Smash meter just, like, slowed down by 500%? Ready? I literally had to get hit to 340% to get Final Smash meter. But by then I was dead because it was by a Charizard forward air in the cave. I can't even touch the ground now. But guess what? That's not enough to get the final smash, so it doesn't even matter. That's only half of a final smash. 150% is only half of a final smash meter. That literally makes no sense at all. I don't care if it's poison damage or what, but I'm getting hit by a large amount of hits because I can't dodge if how if I dodge and my shield breaks? Ready? Or I mean if I block my shield breaks. You see that Charizard try to bait me into the player blitz there? Didn't work. I'm never gonna work Charizard. I will be hit because I totally buffered a roll back there, so I don't even care that that's one. Although I care that that one did, because I was trying to pick that one up, but sure again. Camilla's dead. Let's go. Oh crap. I just want the X-Bomb, sir. I'm mad. I mean, what do you want me to do? Not throw my projectiles? You just want me to get hit to 500% and not even get Final Smash? Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to play the video game, but I can't. Ready? Go! That's all I want to do is play the game. Or how did that not hit the x bomb? That's my question. I don't understand why Simon Belmont just decides I'm gonna do an air dodge whenever you're off stage, but whenever I hold down the block button, he actually decides that he doesn't want to do anything. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I hit the A button, he does an air dodge. I hit the shield button, and he just does a holy water or whatever the down special is called. I don't even know anymore. I'm so confused. It probably has a new name with all the new tech that's constantly appearing in this mode. Okay, of course that hits on mine. So why wouldn't that hit on mine? I was just underneath the ledge. No, I'm climbing to see what it is. What? What hit me? Hold on a second. What hit me? I actually need to see what hit me. Of course it gives me no explanation for why I died. Now you're probably thinking, oh yeah, it's a giant X that's in front of you that hit you. I threw the X. That was my bomb. I threw it at Korn. 
Corrin didn't throw it at me. I threw it at Corrin, so I died. Literally every other time that I've done that, I haven't died. But that time's gonna be the one time that I do die. And also, Flare Blitz doesn't have super armor, so that shouldn't have went through the drop. I did expect it to, so I was prepared. And I don't know what the whole thing about Charizard being an assist character is, but it's actually kind of dumb. I mean, what do you want me to do, game? Just just tell me what you need me to do and I'll do it. I will pay like $500 just to skip this spirit, but just tell me what I need to do. I have like 500,000 golden coins from playing offline and stuff. And spirit battles, all that kind of stuff. I will pay all of it just to skip this fight. You tell me what I need to do to do that and I will do it. I'm about to say, if that bomb also does no damage, I'm gonna kinda be mad. Why is it keeping the X? I don't want it to be like I'm gonna be the plus like that. The plus one does so much more than the X for no reason. Why is it the X from the game? Oh crap. What do you want me to do, please? Just explain. I can't sit on the ground for more than two seconds without ding, 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 and then just exploding. Like, that's all that happens. And then I'm at 500% from the poison, and I don't even have half a final smash meter. Like, I, I don't know what's wrong. My video preview won't work on Twitch. Like, I'm sorry, but I need an explanation for something. Charizard's Flare Blitz magically has super armor, as you can see there. How did I teleport inside of that? I know everyone saw that. Oh crap. I just want to stand up for one second on the ground and be touching the ground, not having to do anything. That's all I w that's all I ask. It's just to touch the ground for more than half a second. But no, I literally just go down there to the safe place where I can tech every single hit, and there's 500 bombs there, and they're all in the plus street, so that way I literally can't do anything except try and touch the roof. But every time that I try and touch the roof, I just die. throw the plus one down here. I knew he was gonna do it. Notice I'm at 124% and I don't even have half my final smash. Meter. I don't even have like a tenth of my final smash meter actually if you want to be specific. Please hit for it. Ooh and charge. Why wouldn't I roll into that? That's totally where the X was. Was right there. Of course. That makes so much more sense than it actually being where the X was pointing. The bomb can just suddenly change the angle of the X while ever it's, or whenever it's exploding, so... Yeah, I, I know you're, you're probably thinking just fight, the fight is normal, you know, like try to ignore all the X-bombs and stuff. But I literally can't ignore the X-bombs because everyone else is not ignoring the X-bombs. What? It hit the other bomb? For reasons? I actually just need a reason. Like, you can't just say it hit the other bomb because, you know, it just did. 
Like, that's not a good excuse. I need some kind of an excuse or something. So that way I know, okay, next time I won't let that happen. But I can't do that. I can't even get my Twitch to play this stuff open, so I don't know if the stream is still working properly. Flare Blitz me, that's what you get. Come on, bro. Why can you just push the bomb while it's still active? Is he just a heavyweight, so that's just a heavyweight thing? Bomb's gonna go. Okay, so I'm not standing in it. I'm gonna have to use block for this, I got. Or I can't even just tech, even though I'm literally doing this every time that I get hit inside the cave. That's not a tech. I'm literally using four fingers to tech, and it's not even teching. Kills me with F knife. From that, I was gonna be so mad. I don't understand why Simon's up. He just has like the perfect amount of time to avoid that, but I'm not really gonna complain. Okay. I was gonna complain if I died there. Why won't any bombs spawn down here? Of course one spawns right next to Charizard and I get hit by it. And I just teleport into the blast zone. Because that's a thing that actually happens. The blast zone has its own gravitational pull on every stage. So basically if you're right next to the blast zone then you just get pulled into it. Your attacking and DI really doesn't matter in that situation. It's just of course you in. I'm sorry for trying to play the game, Charizard. I won't play the game anymore. Continue. Literally spawned in, in Flare Blitz. He doesn't have a tendency to Flare Blitz, by the way, but that's all that he does is just spawn in Flare Blitz. And the Flare Blitz gains super armor, so that's Go. another ability that the game doesn't tell you about, but it's actually in the game. Because Flare Blitz normally doesn't have super armor. Of course, there's just a plus one in there. And it combos into that one up there, but they aren't even affected by it at all. I have an amazing tech skill, so. But of course, my up B gets B reversed in the middle of the sky, so that's cool. I'm literally holding to the right, but it's just got a B reverse left. I mean, what do you want me to do, game? I'm trying to play you, but you won't let me play. Are bombs, like, can bombs go through reflectors? Or will they be reflected? My question now. I could probably test, but I just want to keep to this strategy. 
my X bomb didn't go off because X bombs are very consistent and fun and great items to use. Of course, Corin blows it up because she's just a genius. I can understand why Krom is attacked. I mean, not Krom. Robin is attacked with the one now. All the X bombs are landing up there with them, so I can't get them. It really doesn't take that much to be smarter than this kid. Not from the run. For me, it doesn't take that much to be smarter than the run. Like, what was I what honestly was I supposed to do there? I need someone to have, like, some kind of an answer. I could try and get a Game & Watch 9, but I'm pretty sure a Game & Watch 9 it doesn't insta-kill at zero in a normal fight, so it wouldn't insta-kill here. And if it would not kill, they're gonna some like Charizard will have a parry somehow. Don't even ask how, but they will have like a counter. So it won't even matter that I don't know. I'll just get instant killed from the counter. I'll just learn magic bounce. Oh yeah, I forgot Simon Belmont just sucks at everything. Literally everything that could have went wrong went wrong. In that recovery thing. So, that's always good. Snake's not going to be able to do anything, but it'll just make me feel better to be Snake. This is going to be one of those spirits where I'm stuck here for like two hours, so be ready for that, I guess. And it's literally because of the X-Bomb. If the X-Bomb wasn't there, then this would already be over. I can guarantee it. Because this spirit fight is really easy without the X-Bomb. It's just the X-Bomb make it where I can't touch the blood. Or that could just be Charizard being assist number 700. Why? Why would you do that, Gordon? Why did that launch outwards? Maybe that one's in. I was prepared to tech. But how was... Okay, so Corrin threw down the X-Bomb and B-Reverse at the same time. Like, B-Reverse um, side special at the same time. Ready, go. In case you're wondering, no, that's not possible in standard Smash. This is the text. Oh crap. Okay, I can't tech apparently. That's not teching. I'm literally pressing the buttons as hard as I can, like so much that my fingers are starting to hurt, but it's still not enough. Okay, that didn't work. Dude, how are they so perfect at avoiding X bombs? Yet I don't really get hit by almost every single one. You guys play better than level 9 CPUs. It's level 9 CPUs I play SDL. Which is why I don't track it soon too. So I guess they're level 8. That would actually make sense if they were level 8. I'm on normal difficulty. What? What was I hit by? Of course, Charizard's in my area. 
second view, so that way I can get the X-Bones. Where was I supposed to go? Literally everywhere was an X-Bomb. There was no blank space. I don't understand how Korn and Charizard can literally stand in the middle of 700 bombs and not be hit by a single one. Not even including snake spawns. Hey, that was totally their bomb. The one that I threw was their bomb. Of course, that sets off every single bomb down here. How can her neutral air override my up smash? Still don't have final smash meter, by the way. Still didn't even have final smash meter at 300%. 300%. Didn't have final smash meter. Ready? Go! Go down, snake. I'm literally holding down and you're just sitting there. Yeah. I actually did some damage. Charizard. Of course, it's a of course it's a, a little pin thing, so then I can't even touch the ground. I don't understand how I didn't see all of this coming. What? When did that become their X-Bomb? It was literally my X-Bomb. I threw it. No one hit it. No one was even close to it. Yet it became my X- or yet it became an enemy X-Bomb. I have no idea. There was literally no way that that was theirs. Does like Palkia or whoever's back there, do they just have a reflect so then they just reflect everything on stage so that way the enemies get hit by their own stuff? Like, because that's absolutely stupid. And actually really broken. What I could try and do is try to be Kirby. Try and get deep kills. But I don't even know if I'd be able to touch the ground. I think that would be a very easy type of punch, but it still didn't tap until the second hit. Everything down there was a bomb. Every single hit. What's this whole thing about the blast zones having gravitational pulls? Like, is there just like a bunch of black holes inside of the blast zone that pull you in? Because DIing doesn't work, jumping doesn't work, because you can actually jump at the blast zone and still be considered Ready? dead. That's what happened there. Go! Of course, they get the tipper, which goes through Snake and hits the X bomb, and then hits me because I was standing on top of the X bomb. I side special, but it just moves special. 
trying to do is I'm trying to get that next time I can get I can get in, get in some damage. That's one of the best stats that I've ever seen. Don't pull me into the blast zone, or just pull me directly into the blast zone with the gravitational pull down there. I seriously don't understand how it works, but I always end up inside of the blast zone when I jump out of the blast zone. Because I see like the character jump, but then he's just inside of the blast zone, so it doesn't even matter. Charizard, of course, being a flirtless at the beginning, because why wouldn't Charizard flirtless at the beginning of the match? It's not like it's the most common move for him to do. And Snake's gonna buffer an air dodge from me hitting the X and B button. I didn't even hit the shield button a single time there, but it will still buffer out an air dodge. Impressive. Ready? Go! If it sounds like I'm playing a lot of spin coding in inside of this. Poison Cloud against Corrin and Charizard. In an unfair fight where I literally die in one hit of most moves. And I try to roll to get invincibility, but my invincibility frames just don't exist to Charizard's Flare Blitz. It doesn't even matter. Like, I hadn't rolled before, I hadn't done an air dodge, so there was no way that the invincibility frames shouldn't have been there, but they just weren't. Now maybe the Charizard invincibility doesn't matter. I don't know how I avoided that, but it's pretty cool. just can't tech it. It's an untackable hit, so that basically means that you just die. It's literally you just instantly die no matter what you do. You just had this entire game loaded, why can't you load it instantly? You've been having it loaded for the past 30 minutes straight. It should be instantaneous loading by this point. Of course they can just avoid the x -Pain. And that just makes me instantly drop the X-Bomb. Like whenever I get hit, the item in my hand instantly drops out of my hand. It's the best thing in the world. I could be at 0%, I could be at 2 or I could be at 500%. It's just as soon as I drop my item, it's gone. I mean, as soon as I get hit, my item is gone. And then, whenever there's like a red effect on the walls, that means that it's an unattackable hit. All of those were red. Every single one. There wasn't a single blue tech that I could have done. Or it could mean that it's like has to be tech that exact frame. I'm not really sure. All I know is that I couldn't do anything. Just like right there, I was stuck in the shield stun for blocking the tank. I couldn't drop my shield. Yeah, as you can see, my spike had no effect on the other Oh wait, that... Yeah, that sucks. Basically what happened was, if Charizard hits the Axe Bomb as it's being thrown, it does damage to me and not Charizard. 
why it does this, I have no idea, but that's just how Smash Ultimate works. They seem to be blowing themselves up more than me. I just had to say something. Okay, there we go. I saw some blue. And so I had hope. Other than, you know, the fact that a Force Charizard's Flare Blitz just completely destroys all of my invincibility frames for my rolls and spot dodges. It just goes straight through. It doesn't matter that I literally cannot be hit by a single attack. Charizard's Flare Blitz will be able to hit me. Ready? Go! Because a roll gives you invincibility frames on literally everything else except for Charizard's Flare Blitz, I guess. It's just corn. It is female corn, so it is the more powerful corn. Oh, Snake, if you died there. If I would have died there, I would have been so mad. I'm actually furious. Yeah, I'm just done. There's no way. What was that? What do you want me to do? I cannot touch the ground. I just can't. No matter what I do, I'm in the air. And I don't want to be in the air. I want to touch the ground for three seconds. It's just once I'm hitting the air once, I'm literally just in the air for the rest of the entire map. Of course the X-Bomb hits on there. Of course Charizard's invincibility. Right, of course Charizard's player list hits my invincibility frame from my way. Of course the X-Bomb gets hit by them. Of course Charizard's randomly SDs, but Horns forward tilt instantly are one shots me. After I air dodge. Because she gets an air dodge. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, but it seems like if I make one mistake, literally everything else doesn't matter. Because that one mistake just causes everything else to fail. And of course I hit the X-Bomb, but for them hitting the X-Bomb, that turns the X-Bomb into like um, a mirrored effect so that way it um, does damage to me. But whenever I hit the X-Bomb, it doesn't do damage to them because they're immune to all damage output from me. Like I have no idea why I keep failing, but it just doesn't work no matter what I do. Like, of course, Corrin uses my grenade that I've thrown as a combo tool. And of course, me F-smashing Corrin results in me getting 82%. And I don't even know how I was hit by the X-Bomb there, because I threw it on the ground, no one hit it, and it was just me throwing it on the ground. Literally every other time that I've stepped inside of the X-Bomb, that hasn't really been a problem. But this one time, it's going to be a problem. Now I'm at 180%, and the match has been going on for like 3 seconds. The X-Bomb that I threw off the side didn't work. My up B doesn't even do anything, because my up B does not exist. So that's fun. I just need them both to SD, but neither of them will. Ready? See, that's how you roll past the Charizard Flare I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that every other time that I did that, but that's what I was doing. Okay, of course it misses both the extra ones there. Alright, actually it misses now. Now that I'm above the one that could have hit me, it will hit them. Notice how it was once I got to where I needed to be. That's where, it, or that's why it went and exploded. Not because they were where I wanted them to be, it was because I didn't want to be in the position that I was, and Ready? so I got punished. Go! 
because if I couldn't even be in a position where I wanted to be. I just had to be right there, right in. There was literally no other option for me to go anywhere else. And you see that? I literally just tried to go underneath the stage and I instantly died in a zero to death from an X-bomb from across the map. now on their side because they hit it and so it won't do damage to them it will do damage to me even though I was the one who threw it because that makes complete sense and that's how bombs work I literally hit A so many more times than they even were next to me I hit A so fast that it was higher than the current percent that I had. Like, that's how fast I was hitting the A button. But of course, I didn't grab the item. I don't understand what went wrong there. I guess I never will be able to understand what goes wrong. I just have to get really lucky and win. Because it's been like an hour of just this Ready? fight. Go! I'd rather fight the sheriff than this, I'm not gonna lie. And constantly get bodied by Charizard. That's all that World of Light is at this point, is being bodied by Charizard. And then four is just DLC. Just like in Smash 4. How did you want SDI out of that? I just want to use my final smash meter for once. I haven't even been able to use it and it's been 30 minutes. I've literally been doing the same fight for 30 minutes, getting like 500% each time and not even having final smash meter. It makes no sense at all. Ready? Go! Of course my own grenade hits me no matter how many times I roll into it. It just doesn't even care that I'm blocking the room. All that matters is that I get hit by the grenade. I couldn't see where it was because it was out of frame. So thanks for it being out of frame. Really glad that that's a thing that's actually possible. Notice how I grabbed an X-bomb? I threw it on the ground. The X-bomb never appeared. Instead, I got hit by an X-bomb, dropped the X-bomb, and instantly died. And then Korn actually picked up the X-bomb that I had dropped. Because it makes a lot more sense that way. I don't understand these flare bits. do was hit one of those X-Bonds. Crap. Where was I supposed to go? There was literally fire here. I could not go over there at the time because I was blocking. And now there's fire here.
Why? Why do I even bother to play this game? It's just a waste of time. I'm so done. If you want to just say, oh, you're just complaining, this isn't actually that hard, go so try it for yourself. Playing on normal difficulty, no spirits, no one. Or actually, just start from the beginning of the entire game. Do all the spirit fights that I've done without spirits, and then you could actually say something about the difficulty of this game range. Continue. And also do it with a broken GameCube controller that randomly decides to go left whenever I'm literally just standing on stage and trying to aim the Nikita missile right. Ready? Go! How did his... How did his down smash not set off the bomb? Instead I get a chain grab by the X-Bomb, Charizard, and Korn. Getting wobbled like it's melee. I don't understand what the problem is. Continue. Look at that angle. That is literally one pixel away from being techable. Literally, if it would have just been one pixel to the right, I could have teched and wouldn't have died. Ready? Backer actually saved me there. Okay. I was trying to hit the X bomb. I was actually trying to hit both of those X bombs. I got the Charlie Roger here that I'm trying to avoid. My X bomb didn't go off and I had to Charizard. Tech, 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 tech. Or, you see, like, that was such a low launch rate that I should have been able to DIN and be fine. And that's what I was doing. I was holding left. I'm literally looking at my controller. Holding left. As soon as I paused it, I started to look at my controller. And I was spamming X so that way I could jump, but neither of those things happened. Charizard. Flamethrower was able to override the X bomb. It can't override a Gordo, but it can overthrow an X bomb, sure. How that killed Von Charizard. Just die. As long as we stay under here, he can die. But he wants to go up there, of course. Just give me final smash, please. That's all I ask.
Okay, let's go. Don't tell me Charizard. Yes. There's actually no way. What? I don't know anymore. What do you want me to do? I literally lived for so long that I was at 600% and I still couldn't do a single tech because every single one of the techs down there were red. I was literally spamming all four of my buttons because as soon as I saw myself hit, that's, or get hit, that's what I do is I spam the buttons. But it doesn't matter. My upbeat just didn't exist there, sorry. Got saved from Charizard by the H or by the X bomb. I almost said X or H bomb. Those are a little bit different there. Just slightly. I'm just tagging everything. I'm just spamming shields at this point. So why did that one get parried if Dialga doesn't parry or get the fuck I mean? Okay, sure. Oh, yep, we're making it. Sadly, we're at the top though. So. Did you see that series of misfortunate events right there? Or unfortunate events, I guess? I literally couldn't even touch the ground because of all the explosions. Crap, let's get here. Get here again. Okay, I got final smash later. I literally just want to focus on Charlie Bar. Okay, as long as I stay in the center, then I should be safe right. I jumped, but my momentum was obviously going towards the blast zone due to the black holes that are back there, so. Yeah. That's just kind of how it works. There are black holes back there that make it where you literally cannot even get... Ready? Yeah, I'm Go! just kind of done trying to offer an explanation for stuff that science can't explain at this point. Notice what I'm doing. What? That actually made no sense, but I'm fine because I'm only at 280. That was dumb. That was also kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very mad about that. Like, I can't stream anymore. I'm sorry. What was that? I literally got thrown out of there. Because every other angle that I had been launched at so far had been allowed me to attack, but that one, at the same angle that I had been hit before by the last one, is not gonna do the same thing. They don't have the same properties about them, see, because they're doing the same thing and they made the same angle at the same time. So therefore they are different.
Continue. Why did that launch me outwards? I don't understand anymore. It's been like an hour of me just dying to the same spirit so far. It's time to make a sequel to episode Ready? 2 of Spiritless. Where I died two hours, this one I die two hours again. Or maybe even longer. Yeah. Literally, they SD, and then the other one just somehow gets all the way up in the entire game. Like, they could win 700 games of Mario Party in a row with their luck. So, that, that's all that happens. And I could win no games of Mario Party. Like, I would just lose every single one and be in debt somehow for half a million dollars for no reason. How did that not blow up the X-Bomb? Oh, I thought I was in like the perfect angle for some reason. I need to be more centered like here. See that fake out there? That was a good x -bomb. That was a fun hour and a half. That makes you want to stream. It's not worth it. Or I guess Frog's fine, honestly. I mean, we're on top of a giant volcano, so of course Frog could be the first character that I think of on top of a giant. Or I guess it's a waterfall, not really a volcano. So maybe. I have never played Young Blade, so I'm I don't know that much about Frog. I know that his sword's named the Monado, and that the little abilities that he has are not called Monados, they're called Arts, because his sword is a Monado. I know that his sword allows him to use the Arts. Like right now he has a Smash Art where he just one-shots me at like zero, so I just be playing very carefully like I am. Because Smash increases long distance, jump increases jump speed, but... I mean jump height, but it lowers his speed, I believe. He almost knocked me out of the room. I could see it in the grass kind of. He planted it at a really good spot though, where the stage kind of like goes up a little bit for some reason. Or I mean the grass kind of speed. Here we go. He set up a defense. Oh yeah, he's got speed. Kind of gets him out of this. Okay, I need to touch the ground over here. I wouldn't just stand still for it. Because, yeah, that's what happened to the same thing. Okay, now it's time to see where the next place I'm going to go is. Oh wait, I can go down the water. Okay. Already cleared out this area, why can't I go anywhere else but here? Is there like another area over here I can go somewhere? Another side of the bridge, maybe? Or no, it's on... It's over there somehow. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. So let's go back to tonight. Or, yeah, there we are. Trying to get to the other side of the trident. This one, 
no, it's not that one. It's this one over here, maybe? No, it's not that one. It must be this one. There we go. And yeah, I just need to defeat this spear here. Pull it there. So basically, all you have to do to defeat Bullet Bill is you just have to... Or at this point, you should have Fox. If you've been playing like I've been playing. And all you do is you just crouch and you hold down the B button. And then the spear is really easy. Because you can actually reflect Bullet Bills. Oh wait, it's a Captain Falcon team. Uh, I guess it kind of makes it easier. Come on, Duncan. Just walk over here a little bit. Victory! See, that wasn't too bad. The Grim Leisure. Left is right, right is left. Okay, so I think this is uh, one for Snake. Because with Snake, all I do is just kind of stand still. This isn't one for Kirby, because I can't just spit Meta Knight out and him not recover because he's got Shuttle Loop, Branch, Fun Fly, Jump, so... Kirby would not work in this situation. I mean, Meta Knight could SD. That'd be nice. Let's see. But this isn't too bad. Oops. Oh, that killed. I was just gonna try and stay alive. And then hopefully get Final Smash meter and just depend on that. Because that's what I do in spirit battles, pretty much. But, yeah, I didn't really have to. Urban Champion Fighter. Yeah, my favorite character. Enemy doesn't like to jump. I can fix that. Or, I mean, I can explode that, not fix it. Guess I should have been Kirby. Ready? Yeah, he didn't jump there. Is that not the spike hit? I need to kill him before the assist trophy comes in. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's gonna be Cabin, so that's not that bad. I mean, Kappen's deadly if you get hit, but honestly, Kappen's not that much of a threat. Who'll be next here? I mean, there is a character this way. Isn't there? Yeah, it's just down this way. Okay, it's Isabel. No, it's not Isabel team, it's just Isabel. Favorite neutral air attacks and increase attack power after a while. That just sounds really bad. Not the music, but the spirit. Okay, the music is ring a ding. Then the style savvy. I remember correctly. He might be here for a while. Depending on how much their attack power is increased. But yeah, honestly, see, this level you have to do is just try and block. Because new player won't be that safe on the once their attack power is increased. Okay, it's actually not that bad of an increase. And it disappears as well. Oh, wait, but it's hazardous. Pokemon Stadium. So that basically just means I have to get inside of here and be able to attack. 
Which I can do. I can sleep. Of course, I have to one, but it doesn't really matter. That back might be very useful. I'm gonna get though. But yeah, now they're attacking. Literally, as soon as their attack power increased, they were all like inside of me. I think Simon can do this. They just use neutral air. It shouldn't even say favors, it should just say they use neutral air attack unless we're covering. That's pretty much all that it is. The thing is, their, or their attack power increases by 0.1. I mean, not 0 0.1, 1 damage. So it's just an entire 1%. So it's not even by that much, but it still kind of makes a difference. Now I have a long range weapon. I guess a longer range weapon. Oh crap, I dropped my thing. Crap, let's go pick it up. Yeah, she should be using it. My sword that I was trying to pick up for half a second, and I got bodied. Continue. The spirit won't be as bad as Camilla, I can promise that. We, we aren't going to be here for like another hour and a half. If this one doesn't work, what I'm going to do is just switch over to like Slate and Mars. Maybe even Pete, so that way I have a decent counter. Brown one's not the best one for me. Is it the electric one on this one? Black crap up to the wall. Okay, this works here. Yeah. Every time they get close to me, I do too. Oh, that's a bad. Oh wait, I had final smash. Crap. I wasn't paying attention. If I die here, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, there we go. I was so close. I just didn't want to lose it. I knew Belmont could do it. After that first one, I got momentum. And Charizard has another assist. You see, like, I don't understand why Charizard's the assist here. He has increased jump power. Um, Let's see how Belmont does, and if Belmont doesn't work, then we switch to... I don't actually know, probably Mars. Ready? Go! That's a dragon. Of course he flare blizzes, because it's Charizard. I could try and spike them with the ship, but that's going to be a little bit difficult to do. Even with all my weapons. I have it over. Oh, those four days are out dangerous. Even the pirates that are attacking me are just trying to kill me at this point. What did I. I was gonna just look at the cannons and ask them what I did wrong. Like, how did I wrong them? And can I fix it? Because I just got absolutely destroyed by the pirates, and then, you know, Charizard had to go in there with the floor there. 
So I was gonna ask him, you know, how could I make it up to you? Like, what did I do wrong? Can I fix it? I'll kill Dracula again, because I've done that in the past, I guess. That's, that's not what. Somehow I tech off the Charizard. Okay, let's go. The pirates aren't here now. I seem to be in their favor. Having this pirate ship is not in friendly. You would think frame rate drops on here, but there's actually like, no frame rate drop here. And I don't know why. Yeah, they're not. I don't think that's actually how it works, but I'm just gonna say that's how it works because it makes sense in my head. Isabel's trying to get the fish, she gets a piece of food instead. I got bodied again. Don't know why everyone wants their combo into Charizard, but I've been trying to eliminate him for like the past 10 minutes there. And I just get absolutely destroyed by him every time. Like, if I get close, I get destroyed, so I try and stay far. But then, like, a cannonball will hit me into Charizard, and I just die. Ready, it's not... Why didn't you use a second jump? That's my plan. Yeah, honestly, I can see myself destroying this shirt pretty easily. Like, there's no poison cloud, there's no bombs, so... It's like spirits that... Or spirits like that are the ones that make me mad. Spirits like this, where I just die because I have, like, no strength at all, and I just get one-shot by every move in the game. Those really don't bother me that much. But the ones where I can't touch the ground for three seconds are the ones that usually bother me. Ah uh, yes, Isabel's slingshot will outgreen my whip. Now his up he doesn't have super armor. I mean side spell he doesn't have super armor. She absorbed the axe so Charizard didn't get hit. This curry is going to get on my nerves very soon. Thank you, Oh, the pirates are here. Like, the actual pirates are here. They really hate me for some reason. Still have one trying to hit me, but I've positioned myself in a very excellent location. Yet they can't think to try and attack. So glad they even type off the ground. What? That two framed me? Like on frame seven? Okay. Two frames on frame seven. Got it. Cause I should have had invincibility there. Ready? I don't even remember getting that off, but I should have had invincibility. Isabel, stop that. Okay, Charizard, stop now. Oh, okay, sure. That's fine. Gotta love Isabel's the most powerful move, or the most powerful move in the game, Isabel's forward smash. Why didn't she fishing rod then? She could have fishing rod me into flare blitz, and I wouldn't have been mad, because that would have been a high combo. I tried to parry his next hit, but he knew that I was on the field, so then he grabbed. Maybe I can get on the team of the I mean, His head was here. Now his head is here. I didn't realize I was fighting Piranha Plant. Like, I'll try and 
play close range then. Isabel, you need to stop with the down arrow. I don't mind Charizard's in there as much as Isabel's down arrow. Why can't I throw out my down B? Why did my down B do nothing? There wasn't a down B out on the ground, yet I couldn't down special. Like, I am sorry, but that's not how down special works. Fuck at that, Isabel. What I thought. Okay, down throw just combos in the new thing. Insta combo. Gotta love those cross map pots. Why flare blitz? Just, just why? The move is so dumb. It's like a bullet bill, but on steroids. Like, I don't understand. Ready? Why Go! give such a bad character such a good move? That move is so great for anti camping The Charizard doesn't really need to try and anti camp people. See, like, I'm trying to camp, but all Charizard has to do is flare blitz me and I'm dead. Instantly. Now I'm definitely dead, because I just got hit by... what even was it? Drown, Charizard. That misses both. Yes. Where? Continue. I am actually done playing a character I don't know how to use. It's time for counter the game. Everyone's favorite. Where is she? I that they removed that spin. They added Daisy in the game. But I don't have Daisy yet. Ready? Go! It's Flare Blitz. Okay. Ah yes, my counter is just going to get interrupted by your forward smash as well, because that makes sense. I got comboed in. Okay, I just want to say I got comboed from... You can't even see it. I got comboed from like here into the little cannon thing that launches you forward and then I couldn't even jump back to stage because Charizard was back airing me. Continue. This might be Camilla version 2 except this time I get shot at by everything. Everything tries to kill me this time. Ready? Go! I don't really understand why Charizard's here. Like I... I haven't played Wind Waker, but I've seen gameplay of Wind Waker, and I never saw a dragon. Like, I did see one dragon, and the dragon's not represented in this fight, because it's like a duck lady. And I don't know if she's friends with a dragon or what, but that just seems kind of dumb in my opinion. Why would somebody named Milda be friends with a dragon?
I can counter. Counter actually doesn't do anything. I think a Peach should be able to grab the ledge if the parasol is open and she's facing the opposite direction. That died too many times to that, so it always just makes me mad every time that I think about it. If you've ever died to that, then you know what I mean. Now I can neutral you. I need somebody with a neutral that's this local. I got Pac-Man, but he doesn't really help. Mars doesn't really help. That missing thing is gonna be the death of me, too. Fishing rod into fishing rod. Got a web truth on this. And the fishing rod again. I just need to stay on there. So you better be asleep, Charizard. I'm kind of done streaming at this point. <laughs> I've seen a lot of crap, but I have not seen crap like that. I hit him, so he hit me. Snake. I got leopard print snake now. All right, it was Isabelle's down B. Because she always places a down B as soon as a match short, because she's just like Villager, where all she does is spam Void Rocket. Or a move that has a wave rocket in it. You kinda know what I mean. I can literally see the wave rocket right now. So I'll open up and try to plant one on me. I'm the only one who can plant surprise down these. And then have them not blow up when I need them to. So then they just miss because Charizard's wings don't have a hurt box. I just need to somehow kill Charizard with the boat. And then it's easy. Isabel's easy. Charizard's the main problem. He's always the main problem. Because you literally just die for next to Charizard. Because he does 500 damage. And his entire body is a map. Because he's huge. Poke floats didn't go. It's just the only Poke float that there is is Charizard. Ah yes, that's the thing that breaks. How long does your how long does um Isabelle's air dodge last? Cause my air dodge doesn't last that long. I just need to get final smash, like that's all that I need to do now. I can't camp for it because they'll somehow hit me on the ledge no matter what I do. I can't stay on the stage and like try and camp in the air because the stage is the size of Piranha Plant. Ready? Go! That's actually the size of Charizard. We flare blit it at the beginning of the match, you know, normal Charizard. I got hit by nothing, so I was stuck in hit stun and wasn't able to get my up smash out in time. So now I'm just getting bodied. I don't know if you saw what I got hit by. Maybe it was like an Isabel forward air, I really have no idea. All I know is that I got super riffed off, and because I saw Snake flinch, but I don't know what he flinched about. He didn't trade or anything, like I wasn't even being hit, he just flinched. So I couldn't get out my up special. Ready? Go! That stupid is gonna stop. I don't want to fish. Okay, Charizard, just, you need to stop with the whole having the range of piranha plant thing that you have now. 
I don't know how you got Piranha Plant's range, but you do. And you don't need it. Look at how close Isabel was to dying. She somehow made it through all of the up smashes that I was spamming. She like threaded the needle just perfectly to land the forward smash. Like, I'm sorry that my luck is so bad that I literally can't win a game, but it just is. Like there's nothing I can do about it. I just have awful luck. You can't tell me this is skill, because it's not skill. Them having steroids, or if somebody's playing the sport and the other person's taking steroids and they're winning the game, the person who's taking steroids, it's not skill. That's basically what this is. Dude, I don't want to fish, Isabel. Just stop. There's actually no way! I was gonna say, there was actually no way that that actually happened. I would've act I would have been done screaming. I don't want to say actually again, but I actually- or who I said actually again. But, I would- I- ooh, I can't even speak anymore. I would've just turned off the switch is what I'm trying to say. We would be done with video games today. Oh, that would have killed, I would have been really mad there. I saw that Isabel trying to be slick. I think she's gonna build a house on me. What was that, Saturn? I need to hit as well from the other side of the stage and kill. Victory! I'm surprised if that worked. I don't know why it worked, but it did. Watch this be like Little Mac 2, like for some reason one of his alternate colors is just another character that you have to unlock. Oh no, this is much worse. Um. Yeah, this is definitely worse. I don't know why they like using Charizard so much in the world of life, but I guess they do. Oh yeah, I have the wind resist spear, so wind doesn't affect me as much anymore. Like, you can see that it still kind of affects me, but it's definitely not as much as it once was. Yeah, I see how it is, Charizard. Why is Salamence so broken? Our Mega Salamence is broken. I don't know about regular Salamence. Oh yeah, regular Salamence is banned as well. Competitive Pokemon. So is Charizard, though. So this is like the most broken Pokemon of all time. Charizard and Salamence combined, that would just destroy competitive Pokemon. That would be up there with Mega Rayquaza. 
Ah, Pokemon trainer. Finally made it to a decent character. An above average character at least. I had to use fire to kill this water type. Okay, there we go. Now we should get some damage in. It's a grass type. Why are we fighting on battlefield? In the Omega form. While Pokemon use its flame. That's a Brawlhalla kill. Although it was an easy kill. That would have been a kill for me. I mean, like a Brawlhalla kill. It definitely would have been a kill. I forgot that that has super armor. For no reason. So I'm just gonna have to rematch that one. Because as soon as Charizard got out there, it was just Flare Blitz Simulator. Ready? Go! You gotta put some of your EVs into HP, you know? You can't just do defense and physical attack. Pokemon Trainer. And have, like, perfect IVs. Like, you gotta spread them out a little bit. And while I do think that having Stab is pretty important on your moves, you should also have Earthquake on like every single Pokemon that exists, because it affects every single Pokemon that exists. And it does a lot of damage. damage. And has 100 accuracy. It actually wouldn't affect Charizard unless he was Mega X. Yeah, Mega X, because that's the art in, in the final. That actually makes it where he's weak to that earthquake, so it's actually like the worst Mega for Charizard at least. I'm pretty sure it's still banned though, because you could use it just to bring in Charizard and just say that it's Mega Charizard X. But yeah, I don't know that much about competitive Pokemon. Like, I know some things, but there's a lot that goes on there. But the Smash Brothers is much simpler. Of course, there aren't 800 characters, so... Why did that cause a bunch of rocks to block this path? Oh man, I need like 30 more. Oh yeah, there's this path down here. Forgot about that. I might do a few more spirit battles. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream though. Um, King Hippo. Stamina battle, enemy is giant, giant King K. Roll. And I'm assuming this is going to be on a stage where I can grab, so all you have to do is pick someone with a tether grab. I use Samus. Stamina. You could also just pick like Dr. Mario or Ness if you feel confident in your grabbing skills. but. I know that this enemy is going to be giant, he's going to have projectiles, so I'm going to be someone with a tether. Ready, I there's a person with a tether and um, a reflector. I can't think of anyone that has both. That'd be broken in this situation. There we go. But I forgot that all the punch-out fights take place on the punch-out stage hazardless, so... I mean, with hazards on. And not the battlefield or mega forms. That's not worth it. Or right, what is it? Like what's the power? Gas yeah, Rosalina on Luma, I'm not doing that one. Sorry. Gravity is reduced, enemy is tends to avoid conflict. Yeah, that's definitely one for 
Snake. Snake. Music's nice though. Underwater theme for Mario. What is the music quality thing? I like the original one much better. Can't avoid this forever. I need to face with you. Of Nikita. Don't worry, not that many people like Nikita actually. Oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't matter what angle you hit the Nikita. Because it just kills. Because it launches upwards. Oh, hello there. Okay, that just ran out of gas. What is his income? Just die. It's like a water level if it was made in the Smash Brothers. Camilla was like if a water level and a ghost level were made in the Smash Brothers. Like in um, the new Super Mario Bros. level. Now I know that Lapras was over there, I just don't feel like any Lapras. I already have Lapras, so I can go get Lapras at any time. You know what, I'll just go get Lapras. Because if not, somebody might be mad that I use Lapras. Yeah, Lapras is literally just directly... You can't swim. But this sounds very easy, because I'm assuming this is on the part where there's the rocks. Right? Ready? Yeah. So, basically, this is like the best stage for camping characters. Why can't I or why could they swim? Why am I the only one that could swim? I mean I guess I do get to camp a lot, so I'm not gonna complain too much. So I'm gonna have to separate the whole thing. That's a nice spot now. Perhaps I'll kill the other ice party. We're gonna be the next one. He tried to run for so long. But yeah, there's Lapras. So now I can swim with Lapras and go get the Fisherman Spirit or whatever it is. This one's gonna be a master spirit, so I really don't care about, gear, or about grabbing it. How many skill points am I at? I don't know. I shouldn't be at 150. Yeah, I'm only at 127. You can't swim. Left and right controls are reversed after a while. I mean, that's not that bad. I guess the fisherman have a paintbrush in its mouth. Ready? And I'm not just noticing this now. Is that reverse the Nikita control? I wonder. Well, if not, then it really didn't affect me that much. Oh, it just switches. I got like two seconds. That's gonna get annoying. Oh no, they're here. The pirates. Luckily, it's quarter down. I was about to get shot. 128 skill token things now. I'm always gonna have a new name every time that I try and say what they are. Ooh. Hello, an executor? 
cream and cheese, just cream and cheese. This is gonna be a fun one. I thought it was gonna be really fun or torture. Or I guess not a stalker mode would be that bad. Or a Samus. Because it's not a time fight, so. stuff on the ground already. Oh boy, down on the roof line. I thought that that's a combo. I just don't do for some reason and that's really good. Much better for camping if there wasn't a spot for the to put people behind. Continue. I didn't try to up tilt there, I tried to up smash. I even pressed 8 and B at the same time, but maybe the up smash just hit the thing, so that's why I died. That would make sense. Okay, that just has super on the photo. A little much layer. I guess you cheese. Yeah, because cream's a rabbit. Oh, those are called point markers? Never knew that. Let's see who the character is. It's not worth it. I mean, why me gunner of all characters? All I have to do is just watch. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch characters. And it's Smash 4 music as well. So I'm gonna switch characters to Fox. And I'm just gonna hold down. And hold down B as well. And I'll win. First try. Ready? Go! Okay, I'm actually scared on that. Yep, then we just gotta be near the game. He shot it above my head so that I won't be hit. I mean, that's kind of your own fault. That's what you get for trying to rip off Simon and Richter. That's definitely not gonna make anything better. Just neutral B, come on. You know you want to do it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that made no sense at all. She hit me with the stick three times. Or however many times she did it. But the last time it's going to do damage. Ready? Go! There you go, Mega Man.
This would be much easier if I was fighting like a man, though. Not a man. Okay, those aren't projectiles. I always thought those were projectiles. Crap, she's got the sword. Now she's a new swordsman. Trying to be a sword fighter, I don't know. Or even use the CPU, really. I mean, I didn't create Mii's for the CPU fights, but it's kind of fun to create, like, a meme character, like, track with somebody and put them into Smash Brothers as a me. But outside of that, it doesn't really have a lot of use. Like, sure, there are Mii's that can actually do something with the right combination of, like, Sword Fighter, but why even play Mii's? It's not like Mii's are the most memorable characters in Smash Brothers. This should be a kill. If it's not, I'd be surprised. Play Final Smash at 16, even in Spirits, that's gonna kill. That could be a legendary defense spirit level 99 with their shield up and like crouch canceling and everything. And that would still kill. Old Man Mobber? Or Shantae. I say Old Man Mobber. Or wait, no Shantae. I'm just gonna try once and if it doesn't work then I give up. We need someone with a good counter, someone with a good Or I could have done Shulk as well. They both have really good counters for the situation. I think Shulk would actually be better for the situation, but I don't know how to do Shulk as well. So I do more of the Oh, I forgot his point had to be basically just down. I was trying to grab that mushroom so I could get giant. Get a giant in And that's what I'm Seeing giant is actually kind of broken. Seeing small is not that good. I'm sure some mushrooms spawn inside of it. Die, Shantae. I'm not even in this game. Except as a spirit. I was about to say, if I would have died there, we were going to try that one again. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have to try this one again. Bubble Snake. Because basically with Snake, we get the overpowered Final Smash. That just sends him to the top of the blast zone and all that kind of stuff. So you can also just up tilt the damage in between the final smash and the beginning of those moves. Like that's what I mean. We can just spam up tilt for a pretty easy one. I missed the last one. Okay. So you just have to wait for the to kind of run itself away. Or it's like through this power. Oh crap, that's really bad. If Dante is like half beauty, half person, then why are there transforming types I don't know? Or like why aren't there any genie things? I guess there's not any genie things in transfer. So transforming type just have this same faction. That was just bad. Yeah. Here we go, we can camp this rock. Although I somehow like feel this. I hate it. I guess it's going to run. There's another way to say that. 
There we go, Samus. Oh, I guess Trunkay. See, all I had to do was just be a snake and spam up smash, and it just works. That's the secret to World of Light. I can actually get the thing for two final smashes now, so. Now I'm just gonna win everything this day. No, if I'm sick short. Okay, so we got Old Man Lobber. Or. Tapu Coco. Line Vet. Wave Race Sky. Platform's very slippery. Okay, so this doesn't sound bad as long as I don't walk off the side and kill myself, so. Ready? Oh, no, I missed that part, so you can't really get the same. I mean, you can still spam up smash. Wonderful, nice to play, nice. Wait, so far it seems that he does not want to. I guess it kind of makes sense, because this is the part where you see all the jet speed, so that's why this guy's name is Wave Rider or something like that. Or his name's not Wave Rider, that's the game that he comes from. That's what the spirits that I never played in game but Wave Rider, or Wave Rider, so I don't know. You probably even need the Surf Board, you probably don't even use jet speed, but these four people are so makes sense. He should have switched over to Smash, and that would have happened like three more in the key to missiles before. But now we're at 145 skill tree point thing, so. Almost. Yeah. Let's see who's here. We got a little one executor. I'm not gonna 100% World of Light, most likely, but I do wanna try and do a lot of stuff in it. I just want to see what this is like. Like, I'm not going to try and win. I just want to see what happens here. Oh, it's just online King K. Rule except Giant. I like how he was just in time to jump over that. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight on that one. Continue. But yeah, it's just pre-patch King K. Rool. Except you're playing in stamina, so... If I was playing in percent, I could win, but stamina against pre-patch K. Rool, I need a different character. Time, stamina battle... We only favors or only does upside and Alolan Executor is the only Pokemon that will go out of footballs. Ready? I mean I kinda like the regular executor, but everyone just focuses on the Alolan one. If I beat Snorlax, I can't beat you. I promise you that. I mean, Snake's up smash and Polytanus up smash are kind of just the same thing. I just Polytanus is continuous, the snake is just kind of hard. I'm pretty sure Snake does more damage. And his is much more easy to spam. Why is it whenever only certain Pokemon emerge from Pokeballs? No Pokeballs are coming during the fight. Oh yeah, I definitely can't beat this one. I'd have to get some sort of like character that can do continuous damage. But as soon as he hits my Nikita missile, then it just or the hitbox deactivates. So I'm just gonna try this once more. I don't actually have to beat the spirit, so I'm not going to. Ready? Go! I mean at least I'll cheat or at least she doesn't just side special. I'm smashing's not that bad. I think it's we could just up beat to the other side of the executor. Or does it actually 
Or does it not work? So she can up beat, she just countered me. So she could definitely up beat. But yeah, I don't. I definitely don't do enough damage to be able to win this fight. My DPS is way too good. But if I had Revenge, Incineroar, Side B, maybe. Because that would probably do like 15%, so that's a lot of damage actually. Yeah, no thanks. Let's just do Old Man Lobber from Starfy. The grabs and throws have increased power. And that's what they favor. I mean, at least it's not in Center War, because it could have been much worse. Ready? Go! I'm assuming by grab they mean like, the pummel does more damage. But all I have to do is just this. There's another fall. How they just crawl over the end of me. So the one at high percent has a back. So up smash kills at like a hundred for sure then. Oh crap, they all have wall. I forgot that it was really good. Okay, never mind, they all wasted it. We're good. This trip killed one of I don't honestly care about the not killing the second one. Watch this. I didn't expect that to work, but I'm glad that it did. Definitely a clip where they move, but. Okay, that's even better. Double final smash. Definitely a useful one for Spiritless. Oh, this is where we're supposed to get Alfonso. Wait, okay, I thought we had to fight Taipu Coco. Does damage by dashing. 
very annoying because that basically means that they could just get through all of my grenades and explosions and all of that kind of stuff. Ready? Go! Why can't I stand on top of the train? That's all I want to do. I have two final smashers here. What are we doing here, train? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just wanna stand up here? I just wanna get my final smash, please. Why is there a bomb? Wait, the better question is, why is there a bomb on a train? Did he kill both? Oh, I didn't even have to use the second one. Because it was so easy. Frozen. And he starts with the fire flower. So that's actually really. That makes the spirit very easy because all the fire flower does is just give me a bunch of smash meter for free. Ready? It's kind of annoying to be hit by, but I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Me touching the ground doesn't matter. Either. I need to be able to do some sort of damage output. Okay, Kirby, that's cool. Just, I didn't realize we were playing Smash 64. I should have got my 64 controller then. Those things were awful. I don't know if you've ever played Smash 64 with an original Nintendo 64 controller. But if there were like other controllers that I could buy, then I would buy them for sure. I should say there's a reason the GameCube controller wasn't in that continued on, not the Smash 64 controller. Other than the fact that that one was used primarily in that, due to it being the GameCube game. Yeah, why green greens was eight? Why not green ones? And why are the platforms frozen? Why can't it just be the stage frozen? Like every other kind of frozen battle. Except for like the one that can tumble tapes that uh, put you to sleep to protect the ground. I was trying to grab that gun to see the field. Okay, I got the gun. Last thing we want is Peach with the gun. Speaking of Smash 64, these two were the most broken characters in 64. They were broken because Pikachu could add to you, and Kirby could just destroy you on the stage. Now, Pikachu is good at s and destroying people on the stage, and Kirby is good at making sure people don't Continue. get back to stage after they're eaten. I guess I could try and use Kirby and do the non neutral be off stage. Go! My main problem is that I can't get smashed with the pass now. Because, like, every time I go for a hit, it's met with a fire bomb. And I know this is supposed to be like Ricky, Klein, and Toad, but why didn't they do like Star Allies and have all three of them together? Instead you got Wispy Woods as a bird, you got Pikachu, I'm assuming not Ricky, but the fish for some reason. 
And then you got Kirby being Rookie. Because I could see Kirby being Rookie with the other swap. I could see Kirby being the fifth, though. I mean, honestly, the, the Snow Diver would help more than it would hurt. But it's gone now. Luckily, it's Pikachu with the final army. That's kind of bad, actually, that it's Pikachu with the final smash maybe. And not Kirby. Kirby's final smash is much more tolerable. Very long fight. All I just need to do is get my final smash later. So just... Okay. I thought the Kirby would like intentionally try to kill me for some reason. And that's it. That's the fight. You thought I was joking? That was literally just the entire fight. All I had to do was just get Final Smash Meter. Now we're in whatever this stone circle is. Oh man. I need the Dovacane in Smash. I didn't know this guy's name was Bronto Bird. I guess I really didn't know any of the Kirby people. All I know is Kirby, King DDD, Meta Knight, Marks, Ready? the Meta Knights. I don't know if they have individual names, all I know is as the Meta Knights. Oh wait, I don't have to just spam jump, I can actually try and play sneak. Although they do reflect projectiles, so that might not have been I mean, it seems to be working pretty well, though. That spike drop. Oh, I thought I got another one. That one would actually been cool. By the way, this was the only stage that was legal in Smash 64. Every other stage was too dangerous. Although I did see some, like, tournaments allow, um, the Legend of Zelda save. Or Hyrule Castle, I think is the name of it. They did allow that stage, even though it did have tornadoes. I could see that stage being legal in Ultimate, but I think it's too large as well. Or the Blast Wings are too close on the right side. So you can't really side with, like, Dr. Bond or Incineroar. Honestly, I could aim at both of them and then aim at one. Make it slow. Oh, well, then we just SD'd out of fear. Why does this exist? Uh, and it's gonna be Super Smash Brothers for all time. Ready, go! By the way, did you know the Yoshi was tonight? Welcome to Smash Brothers Brawl. Subspace Emissary. set up my camp because of the earthquake. I'll just trip. Even though I'm standing in physical skill, I'll just trip. I 
should have upbeat when I had the chance. There we go. Up to it and take it. Still can't believe that I landed that one on Wario. The up, or up smash into back hole. Let's guard the chest. Up another Charizard. I'm surprised earthquakes aren't on this one being a ground dragon type Pokemon. I mean, at least it's not a mega star charm. Hi, Diogo. I'm just trying to fight Diogo. Oh man, he just got to He got super strong. And fast. I'm pretty sure we got fast. That flare blitz in the corner. Oh wait, we have this down here. Our patrols are fighting. me. It's like the best spot to be on any stage. So all you do is just tech down here. Anytime you fight on the stage, just stay in the cage. And then stay at the center cave. It's just like outside of the cave, except the neutral you're going for is inside of the cave instead of outside. I did mark the trailer, right? He's moving at the speed of the I was about to say, I have another one of that one, but it work. Grab the chest. Where's it going now? Where are the people here? Hmm. There's somebody way over there. I don't know who that would be though. It's not a monster hunter. I'm assuming that's from Kirby. I can deal damage by dashing into you on a flat stage. Um, I could see Simon Belmont being a better character for this, but I'm just gonna say Snake. Hope for final Ready, finish for me. Go! I mean, as long as I can combo on anything, I'll be down. They could be stuck outside of that, but. It doesn't say they prefer to think about it. They can. This is a I'd say this is a strat. I love the strat kind of strat. Could be that too. All you have to do is walk in the full track. Why have I not noticed that all you have to do is just block the dash and shoot them? Back at what I'm There we go. I was just gonna spam B as fast as I could if he would have survived, because he would have had final smash. And that would have been a problem. Although he'd have to be close to me for it to hit 